Hi, I'm DLE Kamal, and welcome to the Duel Links Entertainment YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be discussing how to compete in a Duel Links tournament. Now, if you are aiming to be a competitive player in the Duel Links community, then competing in tournaments is probably the most important thing that you have to do. So, tournaments are not readily available to most of the community and a lot of people are confused on how to enter them and the best means to do so. So I'm going to be discussing how I put on people to tournaments. I'm going to show people who are confused uh, how to do it. So the first step in competing in Endulings tournaments is to find a reliable tournament. So lucky for you, right? It's Thursday, Kamel has just posted the Battle Phase 48 link. He's added everyone in the Duel Links Discord, which you can get the link to in the description. So, uh, if you click the link here to sign up, it will take you over to here. Bam! The Battle Phase 48 sign up page. So, we are going to scroll down, we're going to read the battle phase and the announcement just telling us everything about it so this leads quite uh, good into our next step which is to understand the format so if we read this tournament breakdown that Kamel has written out for us we will look see that uh the date is April 9th so it's in 45 minutes so the entry fee is free all battle phase tournaments are free to enter the prize is $20. The cap is 172 for a five round Swiss tournament into a top 32. So uh, when you enter tournaments, you have to know what this tournament jargon means. So understanding this particular format, five rounds of Swiss means that you play a best of three in each round and there are five consecutive rounds. No matter your win or loss ratio, you, all, you always play those five rounds. And then from the two pools that exist because of the large player count, uh, the top 16 players from each pool at the end of the five rounds move on to the top 32, which is a single elimination stage. And uh, the winner is decided from there. So you have to submit one deck of 20 to 30 cards with a six card side deck following the regular ban list. It says there the cap is to ensure all four in one make time cut. So you must be a part of the DLA Discord. You must have a Smash G account. And it links you to the Duelist Entertainment stream where it's going to be posted. So understanding the format is key to understanding how you're going to progress in the tournament and how uh, you win, how you perform, and how your deck performs. So there's a little explanation on side decking here, but that's posted in the Discord. So don't worry about that. So, the next part, once you understand the format of the tournament, you have to register. So, we're going to click register now. Okay. Now, we should be able to register for battle phase. And, yep, we're just going to check these boxes. Alright, registration complete. It's that easy to register for a tournament on Smash GG. And now, all right, now this is the most important part, right? So next I'm going to submit my decks for the tournament. Now, this is very crucial. The Battle Phase tournament has a hard 4 p.m. deck deadline. The tournament begins at 4 p.m. The deck deadline is at 4 p.m. If you, if you do not submit your decks, you will not be on the bracket. So I have 38 minutes to submit my decks, so I'm going to complete decks. And when I click that in my, so let's take note of the tab that you're in. We are in the Manage Registration tab. So when I'm in the Manage Registration tab, it's going to show me my event that I've signed up for, Battle Phase 48. And then it's going to tell me that I need to complete my decks. So I'm going to complete my decks from the Manage Registration tab. Then we're going to go to My Decks, Deck 1. And I'm going to choose... Uh, Let's just say, oh, this old Dark Magician deck, that one battle phase, boom. I'm just net decking them. So, I'm going to upload my deck. And what you see here, when you're uploading your deck, 
is the uh, different options. So you will post your main deck here, your side deck here, and your extra deck here. Don't worry if you don't have one of them. It doesn't matter, your extra deck and side deck, it doesn't matter where they are, they just all have to be here. If you're using side deck, it has to be here. If you're using extra deck, it has to be here. All right, deck violation rules are in the Discord. Battle phase rules. So, that's our deck. So anytime, so this is a question I get a lot, so let's go back to our overview, you can see it here. All right, so now we are in our overview. This is going to show us what see what uh, sets we are playing in and what we have coming up next. So it look, looks like, look, we have a pool one, round one match. So now I know I'm in pool one and I will be playing a round one match. So this is very important. Even if, in the event that there is a Smash GG error or such, that I cannot find my match on my dashboard, then I know where to find it on the bracket. And that leads into our next step. Oh, I didn't even put it on for register and submit decks. Wow, okay. <laughs> so, check in and submit scores. So, when we check in and submit scores, so clicking on this match here, it will open up another Smash GG page for the bracket. And now it is showing me the bracket. So this is pool one, and I can find myself on here. And even though I'm not looking at my player dashboard. If I pay attention to here, since I know this is my pool, I will be informed so I can see my matches here. And there's nothing here yet because the match has not started yet, but this is where I would report my scores. So back to our overview. Back to that question I was talking about. Something that a lot of people ask me is how to edit their deck before the tournament, um, after they've submitted it. So. The way you do that is you go back to your Manage Registration tab and you click your decks and click Deck 1. This is how you change your deck after you submit it before the event starts. Once the event begins, you will not be able to change your deck. So that is that. So now let's take a look at a previous battle phase to see what a match chat looks like. Okay. So in this match chat, these two players have both checked in to the match. Your check-in will appear on your player dashboard, or you can click it on the bracket like we discussed earlier. You will check in uh, here, and then you will talk to each other and discuss making a dual room with each other so you can play your best of three. Then, after you uh, play whatever, you will report your games after each match. Now, this is very important. You need to report your scores to progress the tournament so a winner can be decided. So, you will typically report here. Uh, it, it appears this way for me because I am a moderator, but for you, uh, it, it will just appear win or loss above next to one of your names and then you will just check which one you want or lost uh, you know if there is a uh, misreporting then you would call a moderator of course so you report your scores and then that's it you report your scores and you move on to the next round no matter your result for the Swiss rounds you will move on so our next step is call a mod for disputes now dual links entertainment has some great moderators including myself celebrity circus resoline ristar herf pds all great people but uh the moderators we should use their time wisely right so if you are having trouble deciding a dispute the first thing you want to do as a player is you want to look at the Duel Links Entertainment Discord and you want to look at battle phase rules. Now, lucky for you, Camille has posted a uh, 
pretty comprehensive guide to the general rulings of things in battle phase. Now, if any of these things warrant a moderator call, as you read in here, you will know when to call a moderator, or if there's something that you can resolve between your opponent that you can just refer to in the rules, you can settle it between yourselves. But of course, anything that is an escalated problem, please call a moderator. There's everything here, DQs, timers, deck rules, everything, check it out. Other than that, the way to call a moderator is you will go back to your Smash GG. Let's say you're in this match. In your chat, there will be a little box right about here. And it will say, call a moderator. This will uh, make a blip appear on the moderator screen while they are surveying the brackets. And it will alert them to your match so that they can resolve your issue. Alright. So... Uh, that just about does it for uh, entering and competing in a Smash GG tournament. You know, if you do make it to the next stage, the tournament organizer and moderators will um, do that for you. All you have to do as a player is the final step, and that is be responsible. A tournament is a investment of your time right there's a prize at the end and you're playing so you can test your deck become a better player and tournaments like the battle phase tournament mondays fridays they take upwards of six to seven hours if you play from the beginning to the end if you intend to win so that's a time investment so make sure you are prepared make sure you do not miss your check-in check-in is 10 minutes after each round begins make sure your deck is submitted you know uh, at all times, make sure your deck list is correct. Do not make a hassle for moderators. Your, your participation in an event is your responsibility. So make sure you always take care of the reason you're playing in the event. So uh, you don't cause trouble for other people. So that is how you enter in a Duel Links tournament. If you have any questions on uh, anything in the video or anything else, Duel Links competitive uh, tournaments related ask me in the comments or ask me in the Duel Links entertainment discord which is linked in the description so i'm dealey kamel and uh, i'll see you later